Oh, Steve. Oh, sorry. I'm not here to get heavy. Anyway, shouldn't it be my hand shaking? You're the one who dumped me, remember? Sorry, but you did. Is that why you're here, then? To do an autopsy on where it all went wrong? No, no, no. That's kind of... OK. I want us to start again. From scratch. Oh, Marlon, I really... I, I don't... Oh, no, 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 no! I don't mean... I don't mean like that, I mean... As mates. Oh. If you can bear it. I think I can. Anyway, strictly speaking, you're not really my type. Right now, I look escape. It's a bit harsh. I mean, we both did. Didn't we? You just saw it sooner than me. Are you saying you'd have dumped me eventually? Well, let me have that at least. You, uh... Yeah, mate. Sorry, I thought you were dozing. You look different without your scaffolding on. Better or worse? Uh, better. <laughs> hey, and you have your neck back soon. Before you know it, you'll be starting your physio. You make it sound so neat. It's gonna come good, you know. It is. No, Aaron, please. You've got to stop saying that. Why? What's the point of being all morbid? We don't know anything yet. Exactly. Which is why I need you to get your head round this, cos if it's not good news... Don't start. Like you said yourself that you've got some sensation. Even so, I've still got to consider the what-ifs. One thing that I've got control of is my head. And no matter what happens, I need honesty. I need straight talking. I need facts. I want to be treated like a fully functioning man, not a little kid. I can't do that anymore. All right, I get you. Do you? There he is. There's my little darling. I tell you, once you're off those dodgy milkshakes, I'm going to treat you to a big, fat, hot chocolate. <laughs> How do I stop myself from punching him? You're asking the wrong man. No, I'm serious, man. Give me some tips. His time will come, mate. Don't worry. Go on. Yeah, go on. Any news? Nothing. I've seen a load of grief off the owners, and all the police are saying is they'll be in touch. <sighs> Typical. I'll get you a drink if you want. No, in fact, I'll take off some fish and chips. Take your mind off it. I've not really got an appetite, to be honest. Thanks, though. All right, well, sit yourself down. I'll get you a drink. A gin and tonic, please, Diane. Make it a large one. Everything all right? There's been a horse theft at home farm. I meant with you and Katie. What are you getting at? Sorry, they want the house, properties and the business. Yep. Yeah, they made the offer through our solicitors, so... I've been talking with their accountants. This is really happening. Yeah. Yeah, it's positive for once. At least we're now Declan backing us into a corner, so that's got to be worth celebrating. Won't be much of a celebration toasting yourself. Well, what do you suggest? Go on, then. I'll let you buy me a drink. OK, what, champagne? Mm, no. I'm more your cab blush kind of girl. But I can slum it for a change. Right. So there you go. You've got your neck back. Forgot you had one. Move it very slowly. It's going to be really stiff for a while. How's it feel? Like it's seethed up and needs some oil, but, yeah, I can move it left to right. Look up and down. What a novelty. Careful you don't go overdoing it. Ah, I've just chuffed the bits, it still moves. It's a good sign, you know. Nice to be rid of it, I'm sure. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Free at last. So, you ready to begin these tests, then? Blimey, already? Well, uh, if you were feeling up to it, that is. Well, I was going to nip out for a pint, but go on, then, if you insist.
Where's she playing at? Oh, yeah. She was obviously up for a big night, fucking dubbed to babysit. Yeah, only because she knows it's too nice to say no. You told her about Nathan? You told her what? No, not that. Just what it's like. Well, maybe you should. Same again? No, you're right, I'll get these. I'll be driving home. <laughs> Come on, Maisie, let's have you down there to celebrate. Uh, right, well, you're just in time. You want a glass? No. Uh, right, OK, well, suit yourself. <laughs> Ignore my sister, she's the sensible one. Oh, really? Right, well, no, she has her moments. <laughs> uh, look, why don't you open this? I'm going to go to the little boys' room. Yeah, little <laughs> being the operative word. <laughs> Am I missing something here? Yeah, a few brain cells if you think it's a good idea drinking with him. You're the one on the cheap wine mug while I'm sucking the champers. Oh, Detective Henshaw. Hi. Mine's a pint if you're buying. Oh. I'm joking, uh, I'm joking. Well, I would have called you with an update, but just got off duty. Oh, right, so I, I can't ask you about the horses then. Well, I'll make an exception with you. There's been another horse theft three miles away. And we got positive ID on CCTV. Oh, well, there you go, then. Case is off. Is it? Well, you guys normally go for the most obvious solution. Andy. Um, do you want to get a seat over there? Perfect. Smoke it. And the rest. <laughs> 